Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Olight Seeker 2 torch or flashlight. So this is how it comes in the box, so I thought I'd open it for you. So I've just got a uh, notification there saying that when you get this, make sure you take the tail cap off because there is a uh, protective piece there to stop the torch activating. The torch itself, we've got a lanyard and then we've just got the actual um, charging cable or USB charging cable there. So looking at it closer, it's a very compact um, light, you know, and it's certainly not going to weigh you down. 185 grams or six and a half ounces, and that's including the battery inside. Now, uh, lengthwise, just a smidgen under five inches, 4.96 to be exact, or 126 millimeters long. Now, we've got uh, three um, Osram LED bulbs in this, okay, and this is punching out on its maximum setting, 3,000 lumens. So, you know, it's just incredible, you know, what you do get from these small flashlights these days, you know, especially compared to the old mag light days that most of us are familiar with. These things are just, you know, light years ahead. So we've got uh, five different modes on this, okay? So we've got the turbo mode, which is 3,000 lumens. Basically, that will run continuously for three minutes and then um, it'll drop back down to 600 lumens for 155 minutes. Then you've got the high mode, which is uh, 1200 lumens, and that'll run on the, uh, 1200 lumens for 110 minutes, and then it'll drop down to that 600 uh, lumens for 50 minutes. Then the medium mode there is uh, 300 lumens, it'll run for 13 hours. Low mode is 50 lumens and it'll run for 72 hours. And then the bottom mode they've got is a moonlight mode, um, which is five lumens, and that'll run straight for 15 days. I mean, it's just incredible when you look at the runtime that you get out of torches nowadays. So uh, we've got the actual um, switch, the on and off switch just here, okay? It's not um, selectable from the back there. You don't have any tail switch as such. It's just on the side here. So a few different things that you can do with that. If you just double click it really quickly, then it'll go straight into turbo mode for you. Um, for strobe, once the torch is on, if you um, click it three times really quick, it'll go into the strobe mode. Uh, moonlight mode, you've just got to hold down for a second when off and then that'll come on. And to go and cycle through your brightness, you've just got to hold down the actual uh, switch when the torch is on, and it'll go through moonlight, low, medium, and high mode, okay? So if you wanna get access to that turbo mode, double click it, and then obviously that's the quickest and best way to do it. There's also a lockout feature with this too, so if you hold it down for uh, two seconds when off, it'll actually go into a lockout mode. So that's pretty good because, you know, if you've got this uh, in transport, then uh, it'll stop it from activating. Now on the rear here guys, uh, you've got the magnetic charging um, cable uh, piece here, okay? So it's uh, very straightforward, you just put the magnetic piece on the back and I mean you can't miss, the magnet just uh, centers it and uh, you know it doesn't take too long to charge up. So yeah, overall I find it really good, I mean I put it on a full charge as soon as I got this so uh, I don't know what it was sitting on at the time but um, it charged up roughly about uh, three hours it was and uh, you know this one was charged. Now uh, the battery level indicator, there's a little LED so when you turn the torch on, okay I'll just hide that and I'll bring it up to the camera to see if you can see that, okay? So you can see there it's just a green LED. Okay, now that indicates that there's 60% uh, or more uh, actual charge in the battery. It'll turn orange when you go below 60%, so between 10 and 60% it'll be orange, and then it'll be red from 5 to 10%. And then if you go under 5%, it will flash red, okay? So you always know what level your battery's at, which I think is fantastic, you know, because the amount of times that I've been out using torches and, uh, you know, they don't have like a real-time indicator on them, and then all of a sudden you're using them and then they shut off or they go into their, you know, low uh, power saving mode. So it's really nice to know where you're at at all times with this. Now, typical O-Light, it's uh, made from 6061 T6 aluminium. Uh, it's got that matte black finish and, you know, just tough as nails. Uh, 1.5 meter drop resistant, they say, but it's also waterproof to uh, IPX8, which means you can fully submerge this torch 
uh, to two meters of depth. So I'm not too sure, you know, <laughs> what situation you'd be in uh, for that. But I mean, look, if you drop this when you're walking through a creek or something, then obviously the water isn't going to affect it. Okay, so as I do with all uh, light reviews, guys, you know, I talk about the maximum throw distance of the beam. So they're saying this one on turbo mode is, uh, you know, 220 meters. Now, I find the practical use for a lot of torches is half of that okay so you know for this i'm expecting about 100 meters of practical use so let's see how it goes we'll get out on the farm and uh, we'll shine it round and just see how it performs if you're looking at one of these guys uh, at this stage 159.95 from olight australia so if you go to olightstore.com.au you'll be able to um, you know see this torch and obviously their entire range but keep an eye out because they certainly do a lot of flash sales and you know free postage with various torches anyhow let's get out on the farm now and uh, put this torch to the test so what I'll start off with guys is a comparison. Now the light that I'm actually using here is the Warrior M2R. Now that's 1500 lumens. So a lot of you may be familiar with that one, you know, because it is just a great everyday uh, carry torch. So what I'll do now is I'll uh, turn on the actual uh, Seeker 2 and you can see the difference. Okay, so there's the Seeker 2. So obviously we've got twice the power of it and you should be able to see the fence in the distance. So, you know, we're sitting at uh, about 60 yards away from that. So, as I said in the intro, the practical use for this would be out to about 100 yards or 100 metres. Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is just the uh, torch on the moonlight mode, just on the ground, okay? So, you know, it's enough, um, you know, for you to be able to see around, you know, if you were using it more in a survival situation, I guess. I mean, you know, it's not enough to be looking around at any sort of distance, but right in front of you, no problem at all. So then we'll go up to low, and then we go to medium, then we go to high, and I mean high is extremely bright, but still it's not as much as turbo, which is that. So yeah, it's just packing a lot of punch. So you'll be able to see Coop off there in the distance. Um, he's only about 40 yards away there, but yeah, you can easily see him. So what I want to show you here is a strobe mode. So if you are epileptic, um, obviously just look away. So we've just got to hit it three times. And then you can see there, I mean, you know, what a great defensive tool. So we'll just turn that off now. So I just want to show you the magnetic um, switch at the back how it holds up underneath the ute. So, you know, for example, if you'd pulled over and uh, you got a flat tire and obviously you want to have two hands free, well, nothing worse than having to hold a torch. So, you know, perfect for this, just put it straight up underneath the tray and you can just work on the back of the vehicle. Okay, so I'll just show you the recharging really quick, guys. So obviously there's a little LED indicator there. It's green at the moment. Put it on top there and you can clearly see that it goes red. It'll turn green, you know, once it's fully charged. Okay, guys, gotta wrap up my final thoughts on the Seeker 2. Now, just to show you as a size comparison, I've got the Olight um, Warrior M2R here, and I've got the Seeker 2 here. So the Seeker 2 is probably a couple of mil shorter, but in diameter, it's definitely a bit thicker. But what I'm saying about it is that it's still compact enough. If you want to carry it around, you know, just in your pocket, you could be out fishing, uh, camping, whatever it is you're doing, and it's just not going to weigh you down or really get in the way. So uh, it's quite nice. The only thing that I've found with it is obviously without having a uh, tail switch at the back, a little bit hard to find that side switch in the darkness, I find. So, you know, I'd like to just have a tail switch where I can just look around. But if that doesn't really bother you, you know, you can feel eventually and get that side switch, but you just can't go to it as quick as what you can with a tail switch. So that would probably be my only uh, thing to just look out for and, you know, keep in mind before you buy one of these. But other than that, guys, uh, you know, it just packs a heap of punch. I mean, you've seen the comparison there with the Olight uh, Warrior M2R, you know, like it's, it's double the lumens and um, you can definitely see that in practical use. 
So guys, uh, yeah, I can't really say much more about it. Um, you know, it's like all the Olight products that I've uh, reviewed. You know, they are good, you know, um, and you guys who have bought them have backed that up, um, you know, because you see it for yourself. And this is just another great example, um, you know, of a torch that just works and does the job properly. So very happy with it. So we'll leave the review at that. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next review.